Eight urban celebrities battle it out to learn the tikanga of the Pacific in order to not be the most plastic poly present. Oh, and win this mean ass prize. An adventure weekend for two in Rotorua, staying at the luxurious Millennium Hotel. With a Kaitiaki Adventures package, some Zorb action, a day at the Polynesian Spa, and a show in Hangi at Mitai Māori Village. How much do you know about your Pacific culture? It's time to ditch the digital and learn the traditional. So get ready. Cause Know Your Roots is back, baby! Chahu! Am I plastic, Polly? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think I'm pretty plastic. I would never describe myself as plastic <laughs> because I'm real, real to the soil. I'm really plastic. I think there's a Western Samoa and there's a Northern Samoa, is that right? <laughs> no? I'm hoping that during Know Your Roots I get to learn a little bit more about my own culture but also Pacific Island culture, which I don't really know much about. But I literally have no idea what to expect at all. I'm expecting a lot of people to get angry. <laughs> a lot of rivalry, a lot of laughs. I can see some of the contestants already putting on a competitive face. So I'm, I'm feeling nervous now. Oh my gosh, I hate losing. I've got this mindset that I, I, I don't like coming last or even second. It's either first or nothing at all. I came here with a thought of I didn't want to die and I didn't want to sprain my ankle. <laughs> Who's rolling their eyes at home? <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> When I saw the competition, I was like, look like a lovely bunch. But yeah, still, this lovely bunch can get it. Pretty competitive, eh? To be honest, I've never lost in anything I've ever tried. <laughs> Corral. Let <Later>, fall. <laughs> I'm not particularly worried about Tyrell. Like, he, he was booted off episode one, so... Not a threat. <laughs> Toughest competition? The quietest ones that are the most unassuming, so not Bella. Because she's not quiet. <laughs> I asked Lance what he had done, but I've met him a million times. If they're loud and out there, then, you know, probably they don't have too much to offer. No offense, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Well, I have no expectations, I believe. This kind of show is just to have fun and mock people. <laughs> Diamond Lung is nothing for me. I got this. I'm going to represent Tonga. <laughs> Terrell, it's like, oh, let's just get him out again on the first episode, just so he can repeat history. My toughest competition, I reckon, Jenna. Jenna, she looks like she's got fight in her for sure. I saw um, Jenna's last fight. They stay on her nice side. Terrell's not really going that way about it. Who do I think I'm going to walk over? Jenna, probably. I hope I smashed her out. Your Honor, tēnā koutou e te whānau, mālo e lele, pula vinaka and chur usos and usets. I've heard of uso before, but use I've never heard before in my entire life. I don't know what that is. And welcome to season two of Know Your Roots. <laughs> this is a competition that pits all of you urban Māori and PIs against each other in a series of traditional Pacifica and tikanga-based challenges to find out which one of you is the least plastic poly. Tarao, it's not going to be me. I don't want to be first out. I'm not scared. I'm keen to take on whatever it is. The winner will be crowned the Know Your Roots champ and be able to go home and brag to their cousins about their new chiefly status. Automatically, I was like, pressure. <laughs> I'm Ollie Coddington. I'll be your host. I'll be your judge. I'll be the big bad boss man. Might be the host, but you're not the host in the streets, nah. <laughs> Terrell, what are you doing back here, bro? How's it going? <laughs> oh, I'm lost. <laughs> I was just walking past. <laughs> he was on the last season. I don't know why he's back. Didn't even make it through episode one, so maybe that's why he's back. My goal, make it past the first episode. And that's, that's what I came here to do today. What would be funny is if Terrell went home 
second season in a row, first day. Today, you'll be competing in two individual challenges. I am so nervous about the individual challenge because I was hoping I could rally a team behind me. That's the reason why last year I got voted out, because I was on a team. If we were by myself last year, I would have won. <laughs> First, you'll be playing Fresh's version of Tau La Funga, which is an ancient Samoan game played mainly by village elders in Matai. It's kind of like coconut curling or coconut lawn bowls. OK, OK. How is it played? Well, you'll each be given three tupe, little coconut discs. One at a time, you will each have a go at throwing your tupe up the fala, and you'll be aiming for the ma'a, or stone. Easy as. I'm good to go. This game sounds like every other game I've ever played, you know? I play, I win. <laughs> it's very simple. At the end of three turns, the person with their tupe closest to the ma'a wins, and will have immunity. Which means they skip the next challenge and go straight through to next week. OK, Ooh, OK. okay. Put it this way, I'll pretty much see you guys on Saturday. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I want to win. I want to move on. If you somehow manage to have the best and the worst tupe, you still win with immunity. The next worst throw will be the loser. Now here's where it gets harsh. The loser of this first challenge will be eliminated. Oh. I'm just, I'm terrified, because uh, we've just started. I hope to rouse struggles. <laughs> This is a challenge you want to win, because know this. Today, on Know Your Roots, two people will be going home. Oh. <laughs> There's two. If I, if I don't fail in the first one, then maybe I can still get sent home. It is what it is. That's what the game is. <laughs> I don't want to go home. I think I'm going home, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Have some faith. Not care at all to say, no. <laughs> Who do I think will do well in this challenge? Myself. Because if you can project it, you can collect it. First, you'll be playing Fresh's version of Tau La Funga. You'll each be given three tupe. At the end of three turns, the person with their tupe closest to the ma'a wins and will have immunity. The loser of this first challenge will be eliminated. Today, two people will be going home. OK, kia kaha, Famolosi, let's go. Diamond, you're up first. That's Woo, diamond. Diamond. Hearing that I was first up, I was like, oh my gosh. For me, my tactic going into this game is shouting out encouragement right when they're trying to focus. You got this. <laughs> Terrell has done with that smack talk. He's trying to take stabs early on. Whatever happens, whatever noise was going around me, I was like, ignore. Oh. 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 Diamond oh, got really oh. close, so she set the bar. Diamond's just been. What's better than Diamond? Platinum. That's me. I'm going next. I'm going to win. So he got down and he picked up the grass. Oh, he tries to come and do this prayer thing with the grass and call on the spirits and everything, but I'm just like, I'm not having it, sorry. Oh! <laughs> His first one is a terrible shot, and I'm just, like, my heart goes out a little bit. To be honest, depends what angle you look at, but from my angle, I was the closest. I already had one from that point. Go, Mikey! Oh, hey, Mikey, go, Mikey! <laughs> go with the vent! Oh. Oh. My first throw was dumb. Ooh. Oh! Get a sis, get a kill, get a kill. <laughs> so I uh, win. Bella, she just showed up and got lucky. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, Jenna, what are you doing? I was trying not to overexert, but I think I did the opposite. Jenna's one bell short. Too much weight, not enough speed work. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. gliding. <laughs> okay, I've got this. This is fine. I just need to not move that. Down. If that stays far enough away, wow. we're golden. No! Oh, wow. <laughs> it all goes wrong. And it goes straight off the mat, the first one. I'm not feeling good about it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. No, not Very cross with that slide. 
So I'm standing at the line, what's going through my mind is, do not f this up. <laughs> wow. I do. Oh. 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 It's just a feeling out process, really. It's like a first round. Oh. oh. So close, oh. and I just think, well, we're done, it's over, she's won, we might as well just stop now. I honestly didn't see that happening. I thought she was going to throw it straight off. She looks Anka. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, I'm going to hit your one out. And I was like, no, you're not. And he's like, I'm going to get close. Oh, oh my gosh, this can't happen. Oh my gosh, it's... Anyone can win this. I'm not getting enough power and precision. It's not looking too great for me at this stage. I'm nowhere near getting immunity, not even close, but I'm also not the worst. I'm doing the best, and unfortunately, Jenna is doing the worst. But, you know, that's as expected. Oh my gosh. But see, we still had one more left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. She's got two right next to it. The rest of us are all over the place. I don't know why we're still playing. Oh, yes, it's Mikey's turn again. <laughs> Hi, Mikey. It's all or nothing at this stage because I need to hit that rock for me to secure and solidify my spot. Oh. <laughs> Didn't deliver. Don't know where this puts me. And the last throw for the fresh version of Don't La Funga. Stay calm, stay composed. I'll tell you what. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. He's won. It's done. That's it. Last go. What? Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Tyro at the back. We'll get at the back. Oh, my gosh. He's, like, saved automatically from the next competition, I was like, he is so lucky. Lance, your tupe is the closest. It is. Malo for taking out this fresh version of Tola Fuma. <laughs> you are safe and don't have to worry about the next elimination challenge. Look at me now, Mum. Jenna, your tupe is the farthest away from the stone. That means your time is finished here. I'm gutted that I'm the first one off. Yeah, I've got to go home and tell my family that I'm the most plastic. <laughs> Jenna's just been eliminated. My heart tore in two because we built such a strong bond in the 30 minutes that I got to know her. It still hurts me. Good luck to all my brothers and sisters. I'll hang around a little bit more because I think Terrell's going to come home and I'll give him a ride. I'll be a good sport. Get out of here! <laughs>
if you're not on target for this next challenge. Patiafa is an old spear throwing sport from the Tuamotu archipelago. Patia, that's in Taranaki. No. Wanganu, no. Patia. It's a place. Warriors would come from all around to show their prowess with the spear by hitting a coconut on a tall pole from a great distance. U6 will now compete in Fresh's version of Patiafa. However, you'll have multiple targets. Each target is worth a different point. I think this is a good challenge. Let's see what they got. Let's see. How does it work? You'll each be given 10 spears. That means you each have 10 chances at hitting your targets. The person with the most points after everyone has thrown their 10 spears wins. The person with the least amount of points, well, Tika, you didn't complete the feats, so for you, it'll be Kakeets. Oh, I'm so nervous because I'm just thinking, like, don't mess up, Ivan. <laughs> If we end up with a situation where we have a tie for last place, we'll resort to a shootout. Terrell's up first. We'll see what he's got. Let's see if he makes it through take one. Oh, come when on. I missed, I was like, yep, these guys think that I'm not good. <laughs> but little do they know. Oh, yeah! Boom. The confetti dropped. You know, every day is my birthday, really. So I was like, oh, OK, here we go. Here comes the, the champion in Terrell. He's like, I'm going to make up for season one. I like it. You've got to have the bad guy in there, you know, so that people can root for the good guy. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh. You got two! Two. So I hit one, hit another one. I wasn't even looking. Terrell is like the king of smack talk. All I can say is karma. Last throw. Nice work, Terrell. You did a great oh, job. I had 10 points. I could have got 20 points out of 20 points, but, you know, sometimes you don't want to win by too much because then people might feel bad. I didn't come to do that. Oh, OK. Refocus. Oh, yeah! yeah, yeah! Let's go! Wahine, you know? Go Bella. Yeah. She was like a beast, and we were all like looking at her like, oh my gosh, like pressure. Bella with seven points. I'm like, come on, I just need to hit one. <laughs> Diamond. No hits, wonder. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be by myself. I hope someone scores zero for me. <laughs> I'm quietly quite excited because it just means that I have more of a chance of not going home. Yeah! The swish, it feels so good. <laughs> I hit again. <laughs> oh! And again. Mikey Mays, eight points. Yeah, this was my challenge. First one, no go. Second one, no go. Overarm sucks, so I'm going to try underarm. Yes! Oh! Me hitting the palm tree? I think I should have got 100 points for that. Sixth spear, seventh spear, eighth spear. Last throw. As soon as I popped that balloon and I saw the computer, I was like, yes, I got it. He got lucky. He got really lucky. So all I need to do is hit one. I just need to hit one and I'm safe. Oh. Oof. Cush, no push. And that's what it's all about. Boom. And I'm starting to feel the pressure. My heart is starting to race a little bit. I'm getting quite nervous. Woo! I actually felt what she was feeling, because I was like, that was just me, like, literally two minutes ago. What if I end up in the bottom two? 
Final throw. You must hit something to stay safe, or you and Diamond will be facing off in a shootout. I get zero. I'm with Diamond, and we have to do a shootout, and I have no idea what that means yet. Okay, you know, you know what? I, I have a high chance. Anyone's ball game. So Akushla and Diamond, you'll be going into a shootout. You'll each take a throw. The person with the most points is safe. If we don't have a loser after you've both had a throw, well, you just keep taking turns until someone outscores the other. So the two weakest links are about to do a shootout. To be honest, both of them should go home. <laughs> As I miss it, all I can think is Diamond just needs one. And I'm out. I'm out of the competition. The pressure of being first in a sudden death round. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to lie, a little excited. I'm still in the game. I was missing, she was missing. Still nothing. It's either one of us. Like, someone's going to hit the coconut soon. Oh my god, come on guys. I honestly got to go somewhere soon. I'm not sure how long this is going to be. Oh! <laughs> and I get it! Oh! But I haven't won yet, because Diamond just has to beat me. I've hit two balloons, but they were both one, so I've got two points. I'm so nervous, because I'm just thinking, like, come on, you got it. So I'm holding my breath, and she throws it, and I see it. Oh, so oh, And I shouldn't be smiling, but it means I'm still in the game. Yeah, I'm actually sad because I was building a relationship with the contestants. The cast and crew is like already becoming family to me. It makes me proud. It's so beautiful to have this and, and learn historically things that your ancestors played back in the days. To have the opportunity to learn about this and learn more about different cultures, because I'm Tongan, I absolutely love this. So you guys got to tune in, watch the show, and, and learn more things. <laughs> Lance walks past our table with this octopus and whacks us all in the face with it. Yeah, Mikey wasn't pulling his weight. Are you serious? Matter of fact, I don't think he does any weights. So I wanted Lance on my team, but I, I don't care about him anymore. She actually held the knife out of me on the way back. He can go. Bye. It's like, whoa, whoa, Kush. You're not in prison anymore, mate. You can't do that.